Hey everybody, I'm Private Matt, and welcome to the third section of the Battlefield Handbook. In this chapter, we'll be going over bullet drop and how to compensate for it. If you want to skip ahead to a certain section, be sure to click the annotations on your screen now. When shooting a firearm, the bullet comes out of the barrel at a high velocity, propelling the bullet forward in a straight line. But as the bullet travels longer, the less velocity it has, and thus is susceptible to forces of gravity, thus causing what's known as bullet drop. In Battlefield Bad Company 2, bullet drop works the same way. The bullet loses altitude the farther it is from the firing position. As you can see, when aiming at the chimney from a fairly close range, the bullet strikes a target that it was intended to. This is not the case, however, if we move back to a much farther range. Now the bullet hits the house instead of the chimney when fired at the same location. To fix this, you must estimate the trajectory of the bullet when firing at targets from longer ranges. As a rule of thumb, the farther away the target is, the more above their head you have to aim. It's always a good idea to spot your target before you take the shot to help guarantee the kill, and even if you miss, your teammates will be aware of the target's location and hopefully help take him out. The different sniper rifles in Bad Company 2 each fire bullets at different velocities. So for example, the M95 has less bullet drop than the M24 does. Take the rifle you're using into consideration when firing at the enemy. SMGs and assault rifles also have bullet drop, but it is significantly less noticeable due to the fact that they are more close range weapons and are fully automatic. Well, that's about it for this edition of the Battlefield Handbook. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a like rating, as well as subscribe to my channel to see all my latest content. I'm Private Matt, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Enjoy!